Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Dulovic here. So, would you like to build a PC for 4K editing and for possibly some 3D modeling and texturing? Stay tuned. So I've recently upgraded my computer to be able to do 4K editing and also 3D modeling and rendering. So let's go through the parts that I chose. For the motherboard I chose the Asus Prime B550+. Plus. For the GPU I chose the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4GB card. For power supply I went with the EDGA 500 Watt Bronx power supply. For the processor I chose the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X 8 core 16 thread CPU. For storage I went with the Crucial MX 500GB M.2 SSD. For memory, I went with the Crucial Ballistics Sport LT 3200 MHz DDR4 memory. I went with 32 gigs, two sticks of 16. The motherboard supports up to 64 gigs in total. And for the case, I chose the Roswell Challenger Black Gaming ATX Mid Tower. Main reason I chose this one was price and the fact that it supports optical drives. I still use my Blu-ray drive to rip movies I buy and occasionally I do burn DVDs or Blu-rays. When it comes to the motherboard, you have all the usual suspects. You have six SATA connectors, which you can use for optical drives or hard drives. You have four RAM slots, which as mentioned go up to 64 gigs in total, one M.2 slot, one PCIe 3.0 slot, and unfortunately this motherboard has no Wi-Fi and no Bluetooth, so that is something you'll either have to get separately or upgrade to the more expensive motherboard. When it comes to the actual build, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing complicated here, it's basically like any other build. There's plenty of room on the motherboard for everything you need. The case has plenty of space for everything you need. And installation is pretty straightforward. It took me about 45 minutes to install everything. Now, I was taking my time, so on average, it shouldn't take you more than 30, 35 minutes. Now one thing to keep in mind, as you can see this CPU has some nice RGB lights going on. However, if you want to show those off, once you put the cover back on, a lot of that gets lost. So if you want to show off your lights, you might want to look at a different case. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the performance when it comes to this build. So I have a very simple clip here. This is a 4K timeline, the resolution is 3840 by 2160. Now when it comes to this clip, I do have some color grading here, but it is turned off right now. So first, uh, and I have the same color grading on this adjustment layer, but again, it's turned off. So right now, this is just the clip by itself. Nothing has been applied to it. And uh, let's play it back at the full resolution here. So when we do that, it's pretty smooth motion. And um, you know, I don't see any skipped frames or anything like that. It's, uh, it's 11 seconds long, so that's fine. Now if we turn on the uh, color grading here, you can see the difference there and uh, leave it at full, um, full quality. Let's play it back and see if there's any skipped frames. Uh, from what I can see, it seems to be going smooth. So yeah, I don't see any problems there. And uh, let's do the same thing, but now uh, first let's turn this off. And now let's turn on the adjustment layer. So it's the exact same color grading, but let's see what happens with the adjustment layer turned on. And if we play that back, yeah. So you can see right here, there is definitely some skipped frames when you play back at the full quality here. So when it comes to that, um, you're gonna have to lower the quality. So let's go half quality, which is not bad. I mean, you don't really notice too big of a difference. And uh, yeah, so this seems to be going fine when we go half quality. And um, yeah, so we didn't have to render this clip out. It, you know, it's, uh, it's yellow here, so um, it still works. And uh, you didn't have to lower it to, to one eighth or one quarter, which is always a good thing. So when it comes to 4K video editing, you are definitely good to go with this guy. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you now how you can use this guy for 3D rendering. So if you are a 3D artist and uh, you do 3D modeling, texturing, rendering, and all that kind of stuff, uh, this can definitely work for you. While this wasn't built for that specifically, and you can definitely build a more powerful machine, you can definitely still use this guy as well. So here we have a 3D model of Robocop that I um, modeled, textured, 
um, a while ago actually so we're gonna use this guy as an example just gonna position this um, yeah so let's say somewhere around here so it's very pretty complex model there's definitely a lot going on here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start the rendering process here and um, I chose one minute and it's a 3840 by 2160 and here are all the settings and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the one minute render and then we're gonna do a 10 minute render off camera and then I'll compare the two side by side and hopefully it'll give you an idea of what you can expect with this machine and uh, also let's take a look at the uh, task manager here so obviously the moment I started rendering boom CPU goes up to 100 percent basically uh, it hovers somewhere between 95 and 100 so definitely being used memory is about 50 uh, GPU is yeah, somewhere around here between 7 and 12 around there um, my power usage is definitely very high so there's that and uh, yeah so we've got just a few more seconds left here and uh, once this is done I'll do the I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG and then basically I'll do the 10 minute render and then uh, I'll show you both of them and yeah we'll go from there alright so here are the final results I also did a 20 minute render and uh, to be honest it's not really a big difference I mean I can see the difference between the one minute and certainly the 20 minute you can definitely see there's a lot less noise going on but uh, even for the one minute it did a pretty good job it definitely did a pretty good job so while like I said this setup is not the greatest for 3d related projects you can definitely use it so if you are in a situation like me where you mostly do video but you also do 3d projects I think this will work very nicely for you as well so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video as you can see this PC is pretty sweet um, in terms of pricing so like I said at the beginning this was uh, uh, you know it was less than thousand um, dollars I can't give you an exact price because I bought this uh, on the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend deal uh, so some parts I got for you know pretty good deal and um, others were just standard price so that's what I'm saying you should be able to get this between eight to thousand dollars eight hundred to thousand uh, dollars somewhere around there I'll find uh, links to everything all the parts that you saw here I'll put them in the description so check those out and all in all as you saw I'm pretty happy with this guy uh, video editing is awesome um, the fact that this is an AMD processor and uh, at first I was a bit hesitant going down that route but then after you know doing some research I, I didn't even realize this whole AMD Ryzen uh, um, trend that's been happening the past few years I guess I mean AMD is really stepping up their game well has already stepped up their game now it's actually on Intel to do their part to compete right which is always awesome for us you know uh, when when uh, companies uh, battle it out right so anyway um, having the the Ryzen processor is excellent because it definitely takes advantage of all the RAM you have installed so the more the better um, I only have well only I have 32 gigs right now which is plenty for what I do but I will be upgrading to the 64 relatively soon and um, that's gonna be awesome because it will definitely take um, advantage of all those um, you know of all that RAM right uh, especially if you're using Adobe uh, it will definitely take advantage of that and um, as mentioned you can definitely use this guy for 3d modeling and 3d projects um, it's not designed for it uh, uh, not primarily but it'll it'll do a it'll do a good job um, I'm, I mean unless you got a scene that's got a bajillion of polygons in there um, then you probably should be using something else but uh, other than that um, you will you'll do fine you're definitely gonna have a good time with this guy and um, yeah that's it like I said all in all I'm pretty happy with it it's doing a great job I've been using it now for well over a month I've edited my last few videos on this guy and um, the process is just a breeze and I'm loving it so that's it guys as always if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel tell your friends and all that good stuff hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks.